I'm going to do a combined video. I'm going to show you off my haul. I bought some stuff, and also I'm going to do a little entry for um, um, JPL Flash Comic Ge Geekdoms uh, competition. Or should I do them separately? Uh, let's do it. Let's do it separately. Yeah, let's do it separately. It might be a bit weird doing them all together. But right, so I'll show you the haul afterwards or on another video. But uh, yeah, so JPL uh, he's going towards 500 subscribers. He's got a competition on. I think it ends December the second. Uh, and like, you can just leave a comment if you're not a creator, and uh, you could win a nice um, first appearance of is it Kathy Kane or Ka Kate Kane, um, who becomes Batwoman uh, from 50, uh, 52 number seven? Is it? I, I think he said. Uh, I can't recall off my head. But yeah, go to the video. The link would be down below. You can just leave a comment on it, and you can you know you'll be getting into a draw to win a nice uh, you know nice crisp copy of this. Uh, First appearance of Kathy Kane or Kate Kane, whatever her name is. You know, excuse me, I've done my back in lifting up a short box that bent over too far, too far forward. There was so much piles of crap on the floor. I bent forward like, ah, ooh, old man back. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> maybe anyway. So the the um, the creator competition. We can win a stack more of uh, 52, like Batwoman's first appearances and various other things. Is to say, what I think, what do you want? in the next year for your collections, your comic collections. And, um, uh, well, I'm kind of being in a funny position because uh, every, time I, every time I buy something, I get buyers regret because I'm unemployed at the moment and I shouldn't really be spending money on comics. I should be, like, I've got some redundancy, but I should be just blowing my redundancy on comics, basically. I should, I've got to stop doing that. So, first and foremost, get a job so I can, you know, buy comics without feeling so much regret. Um, but what I'd like to do, I, ideally, I've got my birthday books. There's a few birthday books I need to catch. Well, basically, my birthday books is books that came out at the same time as I did. So, September 1969. I've tried to collect all the books from that year. I've got a few to go. Um, the Vampire Ella number one. Um, probably never get hold of that. Because I, I don't feel I could... Um, I just, not the kind of mindset where I'd spend 200, 300, 400 pounds on a comic. I just couldn't do it. I'd be looking at it and going, what the hell have I done? <laughs> you know I mean? It's just not my, it's just not in my makeup to spend that kind of money for a few pieces of paper, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, I just couldn't. I don't think I could. <laughs> we'll see. But I, mean, I could save up for it, you know, it'll be, it'll be, but I don't know, I just, just I don't know. Well, we'll see. Must be I could buy it as an investment. I mean, eventually, when I pop my clog, someone could sell it and uh, get the money for it yeah, in the future. But uh, it's something to think about. I definitely will be getting hold of Captain America 117, though, which is the first appearance of the Falcon. Um, yeah, the other thing I need to do uh, is to go for all my doubles and sell them, flog them, get rid of them, make some money on them so I can put it towards buying these uh, good books that I want. Uh, Another small thing I want to do, because I'm not collecting comics really anymore. I started back in 2013. I only started doing uh, my comics on my channel because I've been basically just going through stuff that I've got and started making videos about it. So before I started on my comics, I was doing my old demo tapes, my old heavy metal demo, demo tapes. I've been doing my old vinyl on there as well. I mean, I'm always been filming gigs for a few years, filming gig footage, and I just started doing my comics. I thought, you know, and then I discovered there was a community on there, and people are all sharing videos and having competitions and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so that's been really cool, actually. It's been uh, it's been the best bit, bit of it, really. It's like finding the people and looking at other people's comic books and stuff like that. It's always been cool. I've gone quite off tangent again, haven't I? I'm always doing that. Uh, I can't remember what the question was now. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, so when I've been going through my comics, I've been seeing like one or two comic books missing. Like I'll have a run from one to eighty-nine, then ninety is missing, and then there's ninety-one, and it's like oh, so ninety. Uh, uh, so that's what I've got to do. I identify all the gaps uh, that I've you know have been in, in my collection and fill them. Fill those gaps. You must fight them on the beaches. I know I said that for <laughs> things just pop in my head and I say them, and I've, there's no necessarily rhyme or reason for it. And I haven't been drinking or anything. I'm just a uh, bit of a fruitcake sometimes. Anyway, but. Uh, yeah, is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. There's not much, uh, quite hu humble-ish kind of aims for my comic books, but now I've got to stop going out and buying loads of comics. 
because uh, yeah, um, because I've got to look after that money because it's uh, needed for, <laughs> for food and rent and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, mm. yeah, that's it really. Can't think of anything else to say. Fill the gaps. Get the uh, you know the books for my birthday because on my birthday books, I mean, so far I was just doing it for um. 1969. It's September 1969, the month I was born. But after I've done that, if I've not, if I've got some money, if I've got a job, then I'm going to start working on the other years. So up to up to 1979, my 10th birthday, I think I'll try and get all the birthday books from 1969 to 1979. So the whole of September, basically, from you know, just something to do, really. Just it's like a, a mission, so, you know, something, something to achieve. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, getting, but if it comes to collecting new stuff, I, there's a couple of little runs that I might want to fill up, you know? Like, for example, uh, when I stopped buying the new 52 in 2013, there was a few books that I would, I clicked up to about 16 of. I could always try and get the rest of that run kind of thing on those ones. Um, I've, uh, well, I had something in my head and it's gone. It's gone from my head. Oh yeah, I, I quite like the idea of trying to pick up uh, quite a lot of Brave and the Bolds, because that was one of the titles I really used to like as a kid. Still like it now. And I picked up a, li a little batch of like uh, what of them recently, and it'd be cool to... I wouldn't be able to go all back to number one. I don't think I'd even want to go back to, to number one, because number one is just like uh, jousting knights and stuff like that. And then there was a whole little period where it was about a weird sport or something, Brave and the Bold. But yeah, I'll see about trying to get hold of those. But anyway, this has gone far too long. I think I've uh, filled the criteria for the competition. And I won the last competition. So, you know, you know maybe maybe I'll get another one. <laughs> maybe I'll be a cheeky devil and win this one as well. Right, anyway, so that's it. I'm off. Cheers for watching. And make sure you subscribe to JPL Flash Comic Geekdom. Surprised I can remember that. It's such a long name. JPL Flash Comic Geekdom. If you sat in that voice, it helps. <laughs> no, it doesn't really. <laughs> right, links down below. Cheers for watching. And please subscribe and uh, have a Satana. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking rubbish now. I'm out of here. Bye.